Look how rainy it is. I've just ordered a coffee. It's bananas. In hindsight, I probably didn't need to open my window all the way down. It's literally, it's fully, I mean, it's wet in the middle, in the center console, it's wet. Oh, anyway, hello. Welcome back to another Vlogger of Vlog. Um, I'm in the office today, uh, of all the chances as well, because my hair is gonna get wet. I actually went to the effort of blow drying it this morning because I was gonna be in the office. Um, and it's going to get wet. So I'm gonna get my coffee. I've got coffee and a donut from Duncan. I've been branching out recently. Starbucks is not close to work. It's close to home. But I took Milo to Mum's this morning and it would have gone cold. This is too much information. Um, so I went to Duncan instead because that's closer. And now I'm thinking I'm gonna go and park up at work and sit in that space for 10 minutes and just see if I can wait out this rain because I'd like to. I'm gonna give it a minute. You're leaning on my Dunkin' Donuts bag right now. Also, love when Dunkin' Donuts do this. And I think Starbucks have a similar thing in America, like a little, I don't know if they still do it, cause you know, plastic, but they had individual little stoppers for that part, you know, for the part that you drink out of. Because while you're driving, the coffee goes everywhere. Last time I got a coffee from my mom and dad, um, because my mum drinks just black coffee. It literally, it was just sp spurting out of the top of the thing while I was driving. Um, if you just have a normal latte, it's not quite so bad. Battery discharge warning. Please use system with engine running. Oh, is that because I've turned off the car, but it's still doing the Apple CarPlay thing? The rain seems to be calming down a little bit. I might run in before it goes crazy again. It was crazy, crazy rain try and get everything from the back so that I've got some things in my car that various ladies that I work with left at my house and we had Molly's going away party and um I've been meaning to take it into work to give it back to them and I haven't and it doesn't feel like the right time to do it right now so I shan't but also uh, if you listen to slash watch the podcast with me and Emma yet on my other channel because you will know I'm going to visit little Molly and where she lives. No full fat Coke in the vending machine. Fine. Oh, finished work and I've just been into Morrison's to get some stuff. I decided to get us Chinese. It's not really a Chinese, it's not a takeaway because I got it from the shop. It's different. Um, I'm so tired and it's also really thrown me off that it's so light when I leave work on a Friday because it's a late one on a Friday usually um, and it was dark and we have all the blinds down it's like an all glass office but all the blinds down so you don't really see like the outside and when I left I was like what time is it? I just got some things in the post when I arrived home from Vinted this is number one I <laughs> can hear the jingles I swear, I didn't know it had coins on it. Now I might like it even more. It feels very on time. Also, there's clearly some missing. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see that that's what it was. Do you know what it kind of reminds me of? Um, I, kept, I was following it for ages or like favouring it for ages. And eventually I was like, I'm going to have to buy this because what if it disappears? Um, it reminded me of the things that I used to wear in my early 20s because obviously I had a baby at 19 didn't love this section of me. And so in hindsight, looking back, the whole boho trend really worked for me, but it all has like an empire waist, slight maternity vibe, everything that I used to wear. So it's almost a little bit like too far back, but this is back in style now, right? I keep seeing stuff and thinking, oh, I wish I'd saved the belt with the weird coins on it, that kind of thing. And this has got that vibe. It's got that vibe, right? Then the other thing is the cream version of the big cardigan that I wear all the time. This is from Zara. And this, I mean, not necessarily these things together, but this, especially in cream, I feel gives just murdered my husband. It's just like a, maybe if I wore a belt around it, it's very kind of pensive, like something terrible's happened in my life kind of situation. I love it. It's very dramatic, glamorous, albeit a little bit bobbly, but that is kind of just the material that it is. I'm going for a vibe, I feel like, with my recent vintage purchases. Um, anyway, 
Anyway, I'm home now. I'm home now. Do you know what I really fancied that I got from the shop? I got some orange juice. I got some orange juice with ice in it. Does anybody else have this? I've mentioned this to people before. I've been looked at like I am crazy. I think orange juice should have ice in it. It tastes different. My grandma always made it that way. So I'm going to make myself some orange with ice. I mean, if you had like a vodka and orange, it would have ice in it, wouldn't it? So why not? It just makes it extra delicious. Mm. And extra cold. And as soon as we had dinner, which by the way, that Chinese from um, Morrison's was really nice. Uh, I fell asleep on the sofa. So uh, I didn't finish the vlog, didn't edit a vlog. It's going to go up later today. Um, you might be wondering, what is this? So, and Lorna, if you're watching this, give me a break. It's not Botox. Um, I have had so many things recently come up for me on Instagram about frownies. You may have seen them. They're like these enormous plastic sticker things that go on your forehead um, and like freeze your forehead while you're sleeping as like a natural Botox. So they kept coming up and I was like, I don't, I don't really feel like, like, I would do something like that, but I don't really feel like going to bed with like some huge Klingon mask on my forehead every night. And it's expensive. Uh, although, you know, I would try it. Um, so then something came up where someone was using this medical tape. She was using it in various places in her face. It's just here that I would very like to like, smooth out a little bit because I'm a very expressive person. All it takes is for me to scan through a video to find a thumbnail and my never stop moving my face. I'm so expressive. So here specifically, I just wanted to like, you know, if I could smooth that out, that would be fantastic. This is dead cheap. It can rip, which is, I don't know if anybody else would care about this, but you don't have to use scissors to get the tape off. You can just rip it with your hands. It's quite strong. And I've had this one all night. And it really works. That's going to come back because I've got a, a constant line there. It's going to come back, but it's so I've read. It says, as long as you use something for at least three hours a day, it will help. And I can do that. I'm home at least three hours a day. I could just do it while I'm watching TV at night and then take it off and do like different kind of skincare if I wanted to. So this is a thing I'm going to try. If it's not for you, it's not for you. I'm not doing injectables. I do want to try different things um, because I am vain. I see myself all the time. I know I look like this on camera. You were like, how can she be vain? But I see myself on camera constantly. Um, and that little line in the middle of my forehead drives me crazy. So also I've got like, I don't know if this is related to the sticker that was just right next to it, but I've got a spot right there. It's developed overnight. I don't know, but I'm going to keep you posted. So medical tape. And if anybody else has used like frownies or any kind of like face taping, please let me know. Right, I'm going to go edit this. I've literally just woken up and I can tell by my face. Probably whack on a little spot patch on that little nose spot from my little star face. Um, and yeah, start all over again and I'll see you guys tomorrow.